The Director of Public Prosecutions is to review why a criminal investigation into Jimmy Savile three years ago was dropped. Savile was interviewed by police, but at the time the Crown Prosecution Service said there wasn't enough evidence. Our political correspondent Libby Vina reports from Westminster. He was interviewed by the police, but did they do their job properly? The Director of Public Prosecutions has ordered another review of the decision not to press charges against Jimmy Savile. The move was announced in the Commons, the Prime Minister also keeping well, up the pressure on the BBC. Point. The allegations and what seems to have happened are completely appalling and I think are shocking the entire country. And these allegations do leave many institutions, perhaps particularly the BBC, with serious questions to answer. I think above all the question, how did he get away with this for so long? The BBC journalists who spoke out on Panorama about why their investigation was dropped have now been told to keep quiet while two inquiries are underway. Uh, I'm being asked not to do interviews, but yes, obviously I'm happy that uh, our story is out there. But a former BBC chairman admits the culture may have been to blame. The most important thing is to establish why nobody blew a whistle on Jimmy Savile during all those years and to make sure it can never happen again. The presence of many more women in the organization today than there were 20 and 30 years ago makes it somehow less likely that the whistle won't get blown. If anyone doubts the scale of what went on, the flood of calls to children's charities suggests there may be much more to come. The NSPCC confirming it's passed on 161 complaints about Savile to the police. The fact that the Prime Minister announced this new police investigation in the Commons is a sign of just how seriously the government is taking this issue. The police originally investigated four separate allegations of abuse against Jimmy Savile, but decided there was not enough evidence to prosecute. The question now, did they really look hard enough? Libby Vina, ITV News, Westminster. And in a sign of how tensions are running high at the BBC, ITV News has learned of a heated confrontation between a senior manager and a journalist at the heart of the Newsnight investigation. Richard Palo sent this for us from BBC Broadcasting House. If you want an idea of just how tense the atmosphere at the BBC is at the moment over this uh, Savile story. Well, we understand that there was a verbal confrontation between Marion Jones, the Newsnight producer whose story into Savile was dropped, and uh, David Jordan, who's the head of BBC's editorial policy, and you may remember sat next to the Director General as they were grilled, both of them, by MPs uh, the other day. Now, we understand that Jordan went looking for Jones, actively went to seek him out. There was no physical confrontation as such, but as a BBC spokesman told me, uh, there was a brief discussion about an isolated event that then followed a frank exchange of views. Now, the key thing about this is that it wasn't about Jones's displeasure and what he said to Panorama about the investigation being dropped. It was about another incident entirely. But the fact that this took place in open view in front of many other BBC staffers gives you a real indication of the strife and the pressure that this whole story is putting on internal problems here uh, within the organisation.